the office of the Chief Justice and Willie Mutunga now says that uh, he will resign come June 2016, of course, to pave way for elections. And of course, we have our reporter Trix Ngado joining us from our city centre studio for an update. Uh, Trix, uh, tell us more about this new development. Yes, yes, Betty, very interesting news there from the Supreme Court today where the Chief Justice William Mutunga has in fact uh, announced that he has elected to resign, to actually retire, not resign in uh, June 20 this year, June this year, because he wants to pave way to the long process that all usually takes almost a year whereby they have to vet and elect a new Chief Justice. His reasons for this is that there is a come upcoming election in 2017 and if he gives way for this process to begin it will give ample time for a new cj to be elected into office to be to be selected into office and uh, of course be there when there is need for a cj who will um who will uh, swear in the the president that will be elected in the coming elections um, uh, also, why the, the, the reason that we were there today was, of course, the CJ was launching a report by the, ju the, the Judiciary Committee on Elections. A report, uh, of course, I can take you back to 2012, whereby a report was set, uh, a, a committee was set up, that is the Judiciary Committee on Election was set up to, to oversee matters that uh, affect the election, especially when two parties or two persons who are vying for a, a specific seat have a dispute or are disputing an election, a, an election or the results want this resolved. So the committee is entrusted with this. Uh, the report contains various recommendations and it outlines various um, areas of concerns that it that uh, the, the 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 committee feels that will be looked it should be looked into in the coming election so that it can be better uh, it uh, the country or the judiciary can better implement uh, or, or let's say can better solve re, re, uh, the conflict between two parties or two um, uh, candidates who are disputing results from an election. Now maybe I could just tell you the importance of this uh, or the mandate of this committee, the Judiciary Committee of Election. First of all, its role is to advise the judiciary on the administrative arrangements and for efficient disposal of election based or election related disputes. It's also mandated in setting up a, de a, a design and design and design a system for monitoring and evaluating the management and administration of um election related uh, disputes in court. Uh, it, uh, it will also be required to liaise and cooperate with other stakeholders to ensure efficient and effective and efficient, effective and timely resolution of election related disputes and offenses as well as making sure that uh, staff of the judiciary and the public are adequately educated on matters related to election dispute. Of course this is very important because when disputes arising from elections are not um, adequately resolved there might arise uh, a lot of challenges as well uh, for example what you're seeing going on in judiciary right now we're having a lot of um we're having uh claims that this the election of the current governor kidero was not uh correctly uh, done according to the book so you know issues like that are very require very uh, effective ways of resolving so that they don't spiral out into ev events such as what we saw in 2017 and it's important to note that this committee was set up as a recommendation of the Krigler report back in 2012 that was uh, looking into matters that happened in 20, uh, 20, 20 2007 and for example we've had we had uh, a lot of stakeholders in the in the in the launch today we had representative from the IEBC we've had the the representative from the Senate who are all lauding the move of the, by the Chief Justice to launch this report so that it might go a long way in preparing for the upcoming uh, elections that comes in 17 months Right. Uh, thank you very much, Trix Ngado, for that update there. And, uh, of course, as she started speaking to us, she told us that uh, Chief Justice William Mutunga made uh, an announcement today that uh, he will be retiring um, come June 2017 so that we can prepare ourselves as a country for the elections in 2017 because obviously it takes uh, a long period of time before the next Chief Justice is selected. Right. So...
A week into Kenya's Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission mass registration campaign, the commission has revealed that the exercise is facing low voter turnout. The CEO chairman Ezra Chiloba is now calling on Kenyan voters across the country to turn up in time. Take a look. A week into phase one of the mass voter registration campaign that kicked off on the 15th of February, the IBBC has revealed the process is not gathering the desired momentum. Records compiled from stations across the country are indicating a general low turnout. The IEBC Chief Executive Officer has revealed that only 251,894 voters have been registered, much lower than the expected 1,037,893 target. This is an approximate 35,985 voters per day, an indication of a severe underutilization of BVR kits in stations across the nation. <laughs> paka saa 12 na tunaandikisha mtu mmoja kwa hivyo ni kama watu sijui kama hawataki ama ni nini at this rate only a probable 30% of phase 1's 4 million target will be achieved a report by the commission shows Nairobi is leading in new registered voter numbers at 23,183, followed by Siaya at 15,689, Kiambu at 13,637, Kakamega at 13,096, and Kisumu at 12,631. 11,934 new voters were registered in Nakuru, 10,566 in Bungoma, 10,404 in Homa Bay, 9,970 in Meru and 9,039 in Migori. It is for this reason that local leaders are making an appeal to voters to come out and get registered during the 30-day period. In case the low turnout is owing to typical Kenyan culture of waiting for last minute, the commission is urging Kenyans to start this soon. <laughs> na mtumalie WhatsApp na hii yote mseme pahali watu wako ndio kusikuwe na mtu anasema hajui pahali watu wako Trix Ingado KTN News